have a beginner workout for you. I noticed I have a lot of intermediate and advanced workouts, but what about the beginners? This is a great workout. We're not even getting down on the ground. You can do it at home, in the gym, and you can adjust it for your ability level. All you need is a set of weights. So go grab them and let's get started. All right, we're doing 10 exercises, everyone, and we're going to be doing them for one minute each. On the video, I'm just going to be doing them for 30 seconds because you don't need to watch me for a whole minute. All right, first exercise is just warming up that gorgeous body, is stepping from side to side. All right, I'm going to set my timer. Here we go. Now watch this. This is beginning, and you know what? We can make it harder. Let's add an arms in there, and you can pump it up and really get that heart rate going, all right? Do whatever works for you. I just want you to move that gorgeous body, all right? Let's do it. Remember, I'm doing 30 seconds. You're gonna do it for a full minute. Boom, let's go. There, all right, next exercise. I have a little cheat sheet there so I can remember. Remember, we're gonna do a pull. We're gonna do a pull just like this. This is working our arms, our core, our legs, and it's gonna get our cardio up, all right? I'm setting that timer. Let's do it, pull. Now here is very beginning, getting that heart rate up, or we can pull, pull, pull. Do what works for you, okay? Gonna warm. I'm gonna say we're gonna warm up the whole body throughout the whole exercise for the whole routine. But let's do it. Get those knees up as high as you can. You're working your lower abs. Come on, pull it. Let's go. Boom. Boom. You know I like sound effects. All right. That was exercise number two. Exercise number three. We're gonna scooch over here to the wall, and this is a great way if you can't do push-ups on the ground yet. Notice I said, yeah, we're gonna do them on the wall. So you're just gonna stand with your feet about hip width apart, and you're pushing down and pushing back up. You know I love the push-up. It's great for upper body strength. We're working our chest, back, triceps, and of course, we're keeping that core nice and tight. I just set the timer, so let's go, come on. 30 seconds with me. At home, I want you to do it for a minute. And to make it harder, you can just start stepping back. And when you build up your strength, I want you to start taking it down to the ground. All right, keep it going, come on. You can do anything for a minute. I know you can. Ready? All right, boom, all right. We're moving on to hip rolls. This one is a gift, okay? This is really just to make sure we're warming it up. All we're gonna be doing is rotating our hips. We're gonna start on one side, and then we're gonna start with the other side, all right? That would be left and right. So you're gonna do about 30 seconds to one side, and really move those hips. Open up those joints, okay? Great for beginners, great for advanced. All right, and now let's just swing it in the other direction. We're working our abs also. I can feel my abs working. Huh? All right, good job. Keep it going. All right, now our fifth exercise, and this one's really gonna get your cardio up when you do it for a minute, is marching in place. Remember, we can start just marching casually, or we can really march it out. All right, ready? Here we go. Marching. This would be beginner. Just marching. You can walk around the room if you want. Or, boom, we can step it up and really start marching. All right? Come on, do it. Let's go. We're going to lose those inches. We're going to tone it up and get that heart rate up for the rest of the day. Boom. Keep it going. You'll be amazed how high your heart rate goes up in one minute. All right, we're gonna move on to exercise number six. This is when we're gonna grab our weights. 
I have five pounds here. You can start with no weight, three weights, five pounds, whatever works for you. This is a compound move. So we're gonna put our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna squat down, come back up. We're gonna do a hammer curl for the biceps and an overhead shoulder press. We've got three moves going on there. All right, do them with me. Here we go. We're gonna squat, bicep curl, overhead shoulder press. Good. Squat, it's also called a hammer curl, overhead shoulder press. You got it. Squat, hammer curl, overhead shoulder press. Always keeping those abs in nice and tight. There you go. We're working the lower body. We're working our biceps and our shoulders. Beautiful. You remember, how many minutes are you doing it for at home? That's right, one minute. Next exercise, our ab torso twists. All right, you can do this with your weight or without your weight. Remember, all these exercises are adjustable to your ability level. What we're gonna do, our feet about hip width apart, little bend in the knees, and we are punching to each side. I'm doing 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. You're doing it a minute at home, all right? Here goes my timer. And really punch, 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 and twist, because I want you to feel it in your abs, okay? Twist, make them short, little punches right across the body. Boom, boom, it's a tiny movement, but it's tough. Come on, keep it going. We can do this together, we can do anything, guys. Let's go, boom. Excellent, all right, next exercise. Okay, oops, I just pushed the timer. All right, now we need a wall. We're gonna work the legs. My timer's gonna go off. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds of just leg lifts. I want you to keep this upper body nice and straight. You're not leaning over. Okay? Okay, you ready? I'm setting that timer. You're balancing on one leg. And you'll feel after a minute of these, you're going to feel it right here. Yeah, we need to work that area. The lower body is underused. We're going to use those muscles. We're going to get them firmer. They're going to push out. And you know what happens when our muscles get firmer and they start to push out? We start to lose all those dimples on our legs. I want you to turn it over and do it on the other side for one minute. Okay? Awesome. All right. Arms. Okay. Okay. Exercise number nine. You're going to need to whoop, grab your weights again. And we are doing... Oh, you know what? You only need one way. This is for the abs. We're putting it over our head. Our feet are about hip width apart. And we're leaning from one side, feeling that all stretch in our, in our obliques and stretching it out to the other side, all right? I want you to stand up nice and tall. I don't want this. I want that above your head. You're just bending from the waist. Side, it's a nice, slow, and controlled movement. You're gonna feel that everywhere in your abs. Remember, we don't need to work the abs to get down on the ground to work them. You can check out also my standing up ab video. That's really, really popular. And just keep this going for one whole minute. Challenge yourself, you can put a heavier weight above your head. All right. Last exercise is that one minute march in place. Ready? Because I'm hitting that timer. Here we go. Let's really march this one out. This is that last minute. Come on. Give it all you've got. I know you can do it. Otherwise, I'm coming over there for you. All right. Let's do it. March it out, everybody. Oh, there goes my headband. That was my Julia Rose headband. <laughs> Keep it going. Good. All right, everyone, that was great. 
Those were 10 exercises, each one done for a minute. Now I want you to go back and do that again. It's a great 20 minute workout. If you have enough time, 30 minutes, you are good to go. All right? Be fit, be happy, and be healthy. And I'm out of breath. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.